Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a quick recap video to tell you everything that kind of happened today in FarmCon 21. So this is for FarmCon Day 1, July 21st of 2021. Uh, so first off, Giants kind of started talking about and going into the details of how they are now self-publishing, which means they essentially publish the game themselves instead of using Focus Interactive, which they have used in the past to publish the game. Essentially what that means for you guys and for us is that means a overall better experience with the game. Um, they're able to more directly apply what we want to see in the game and make an overall better product. Um, as well as that, they're also going to be able to probably increase the audience that is able to have access to Farming Simulator 22 in the future as well, which is a really cool thing. So that's going to bring new people on board to the game um, in more areas in the world. They also did have a couple of notes from various ambassadors. Uh, actually, I think just two ambassadors, but I'm thinking two, maybe three. I can't remember now. Uh, if I just watched it, but uh, they had a couple of notes from different farm simulator ambassadors and talked a little bit about the ambassador program. Um, and then they went on to talk about how the cinematic trailer was made. And that was a very cool process. Um, it was made by a firm in France and it was very cool how they went through all the details. Um, and it took them, um, what would they say? They said 30, 30, uh, 30 employees over the course of four months to create that trailer, which is absolutely madness. The amount of detail and time it took to make that little trailer um, was absolutely incredible so that itself is definitely worth looking through and seeing how that all went and then we get into a couple of more exciting things i would say so they did go to talk a lot about elm creek they showed off a lot more of the map we also got to see kind of some different aspects of the game um we got to see uh essentially like you know how it, up in the upper right hand corner you have your money and the day time stuff like that um we got to see some of those details in there as they're showing around the map so um, though it wasn't the live premiere of the gameplay for the game, it was very cool to see some of those details on there. Um, very cool. First thing I noticed in there in a couple of shots is uh, extremely fast traffic. Like the traffic was moving quick. I don't know if that actually means there's going to be more traffic that's, or, or traffic that's moving faster, but it wasn't the slow kind of groggy traffic that we're used to in FS19. So it did look like it was much faster, which would be a very cool feature to see. Um, in addition to that, when they're walking over fields, they had the field info on there. So, and this is probably not a surprise, it looks like lime, fertilizer, and weeds are still going to be part of the game. So you're still going to take care of those things. Now, if they change it all, we'll cover all that in tutorials once the game actually comes out. But we'll get to that later on. Um, they did talk a little bit about the starting farm, which is going to be located instead of like Ravenport, the U.S. map uh, for Farming Simulator 19 that came at the base game. Elm Creek is going to have the map or have the farm, the starting farm located in the center of the map. So you can kind of build out from there. Um, and it's going to start off with having some smaller or easier to manage fields around the starting farm. And there are some big fields and some odd shaped as well as nice square rectangular fields on the map. So you have different various options on there. Um, and by the way, the map looks absolutely incredible. They also did mention that you have the ability to merge or create new fields with a plow in game, which is a really cool feature that uh, is in Farming Center 19, which it's nice to see that's going through um, into Farming Center 22, which we did figure it probably would be going to go on to that. But it's always nice to have that confirmation. They also talked about uh, Elm Creek and multiplayer and how there was a few different extra farms um, around the outskirts on the edges of the map, um, which is really cool. So they have a couple of different things about that um, where they have different farms on the edges if you wanted to actually start that way. And those farms are very similar to the starting farm in the center of the map with smaller fields around them as well. So you can kind of get started and, molt and build up from there. Uh, Elm Creek also, not like Ravenport where there's a coastline, it's not gonna have any coastline around the edges of it. Um, and it, it just looked fantastic, guys. You guys have to go check out FarmCon. Um, it was just over an hour long, but definitely worth worthwhile to see day one on there. Um, after they finished talking about Elm Creek, they went into seasonal changes. So as we know um, from the seasons mod we have currently in FS19, we know that some version that's called seasonal changes, which is different than the mod, is going to come to Farming Center 22. Um, this is where we actually got a ton of really cool information that we didn't have before, which I think is really cool. And I'll share all that with you guys in kind of a quick recap here. So uh, first off, it's very similar. What, from what I saw, it's almost the same. If, I mean, it's obviously it's not the same. I don't want to say stuff like that to get me in trouble, but um, it's very similar to the Seasons mod in a lot of ways, which I think is great. So you're not going to have to learn if you're used to Seasons, um, the Seasons mod, you're not going to learn a whole new platform necessarily. Um, so it just looks like it's better and more kind of optimize if that makes sense so again there's four seasons like there is <laughs> throughout most of the world you're gonna have spring summer uh fall and winter or autumn and winter um there so and each uh season is divided into three months so three months per season and there's gonna be 12 months per year each month in game is one in-game day so 12 in-game days will be a full year cycle um, now that might seem like that's going to go really fast through the seasons, but the speed of the days in game is adjustable just like it is now. So you can lower it down to one times and make your day super slow. So you have time to get through that 
Now, if they make it so they can have multiple days in the future, that might be something a modder or something can add in later, but that, at least for now, it seems like that's how it is structured. Now, in addition to that, prices are going to change through the year, kind of like they do in Seasons Mod. Um, so you have, if you sell right at harvest, you'll probably have a much lower price, so you'll want to monitor the, the prices through the year. Um, it, if I can remember, and I was watching it fairly closely, um, they didn't have, or at least not that they showed, they didn't have a kind of a what you see in Seasons Mod now where they chose the different prices throughout the year as you go through the years. Um, so I'm guessing you're just going to have to pay attention in the uh, price screen as you go through that. Now, the other thing they mentioned and showed off is the crop calendar. So it looked almost identical to the season's crop calendar. It just looked cooler for some reason. Uh, that shows when you're supposed to plant and harvest various crops. And they also talked about winter. So winter, obviously, is going to have snow and snow removal. So there's going to be snow plows, stuff like that. They didn't specifically say, but I'm not sure if you... They, I'm hoping they'll have an option for you to turn snow on or off, just like you kind of have right now, or you do have right now in season's uh, mob, but they didn't mention that, but they did say that you can skip days, at least in winter. I don't know if you can skip other days through the year, but they said you can skip days if you want to skip through winter and you don't have animals or snow clearing that you want to do. So you can do that. Um, they also showed off some of the snow, which looked very cool and much better, I think, than uh, what it is currently in Farming Simulator 19 uh, with the Seasons mod. So it was very cool to see that in there. Um, they showed some of the snow on the roof and snowmen appearing at, in the winter time. And they also noted that modders can make objects visible at only certain times of the year. So like you could have a barbecue out in the summer, but then it goes away in the winter or gets put away or changes. So some cool stuff like that, that um, we've seen some of that happen in other maps. I know that uh, Auction David has done some of that stuff that's kind of similar to that, uh, but it'll be cool to see more of that happen as we get further along. They also noted that modders can adjust the calendar and the essentially the geo, so what would be a season's geo now, they can build that into the map um, to adjust how it is depending on what part of the world the map is based on. So very cool. Uh, they also did hint that they would be showing off uh, later on, at least in FarmCon, uh, one of the other maps. So the other new map, because we obviously know we're getting Elm Creek and we're getting Erlingrot, we're getting a remastered version of Erlingrot and then um, obviously Elm Creek. So we'll see kind of if they release that or they show that off, which I'm assuming they will. They also had a really cool interview with a John Deere uh, employer, someone who works for John Deere, um, who is a doctor who was talking about the precision farming product and uh, the precision farming uh, projects that go on um, and kind of how that relates to real life farming and how it relates to the DLC in the game. Um, and they talked a little bit well at, as well at the end about new features that are probably coming in FS22. Um, they also noted that precision farming is not going to be part of FS22. It's going to be a mod that's released after uh, FS22 is released, hopefully fairly soon after that, I'm assuming, or fairly quick. Uh, but they did talk about a faster soil sampling method, and I know there's mods out there to adjust some of this stuff, but this is going to apply to all platforms you have to understand as well. So potentially you're going to be able to hire a company to come out and do your soil samplings. They talked about having better weed control or, or working in uh, weed control, which is currently not worked into uh, precision farming past what it is normally for base game. They talked about working that in a little bit more. They also talked about further defining nitrogen as it's going to be um, in the game and kind of do some more details with that. But uh, yeah, some very cool stuff today. That is everything that essentially happened in farming or FarmCon uh, 21 today on July 21st, 2021. Um, they did note as well that the FS22 Collector's Edition is available for pre-order now as well as uh, FS22. FS22 has been available for a while now, and I believe there's some Collector's Editions that are available for pre-order, but... Uh, if you're looking for a link to support the channel and order FS22 early, that will be down below in the description. If you click that, that does go to support the channel. I really appreciate that. It doesn't cost you any more, um, but you should be able to get a PC copy, hard copy, or download using that um, link down below. So, anyhow, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.